was very proud as speaker to be able to make sure that the Helms-Burton Act passed, and I'm delighted that Congressman Dan Burton is here tonight and is campaigning with me because it was a very important step towards isolating the Castro regime. I think it's amazing that Barack Obama is worried about an Arab Spring. He's worried about Tunisia. He's worried about Libya. He's worried about Egypt. He's worried about Syria. And he cannot bring himself to look south and imagine a Cuban Spring. And I would argue that we should have as a stated explicit policy that we want to facilitate the transition from the dictatorship to freedom. We want to bring together every non-military asset we have exactly as President Reagan and Prime Minister Thatcher and Pope John Paul II did in Poland and in Eastern Europe. They broke up the Soviet empire without a general war by using a wide range of things, one of which is just psychological, saying to the next generation of people in Cuba, the dictatorship is not going to survive. You need to bet on moving to freedom in order to have prosperity in Cuba, and we will help you get to that freedom.